I love these beautiful skies, man. Especially when it rains or during the rain or after the rain. The sky is very beautiful. I'm like into nature a lot. Like that's a part of me that a lot of people don't uh, know about me. Like, yeah, I love nature. So I've been wanting to make this video for a while. What are the pros and cons on this Mustang 17 GT? Well, let me tell you. The speed is very excellent. The handling is very good. I mean, this is a performance package number one, I believe, with uh, Brembo brakes. The oil pressure gauge with the uh, vacuuming. Now, I love driving manual. Like, as much as I would like to get an automatic because once this quarantine is over, this traffic is gonna get heavy. And that's when it starts getting annoying. Once you're stuck in traffic, you're just one, two, or just one, one, neutral, one, neutral, one. It's like, Jesus! It's tough, man. It gets annoying. But where I live, I live in the Antelo Valley. So where I live, driving this car is amazing, man. Like the streets, we're able to go at least 50 or 60, even though the limit is like 25. So, nah, I'm just kidding, it's not 25. Nah, it's like 50 or 60. I mean, sometimes it's shit, you could go even 70, but don't tell nobody, it's a secret. Look, this car is good, I love it. The one thing that I would love to get, and I've been saying this, is the toggle switches. I wish I would've got that. I wish I would've got the Sync 3 uh, system. I wish I would've got the digital dash. And the only thing that pissed me off about Ford is how they made 15 through 17 435 horsepower and then they made 18s and up 460. It's like, what the f bro? It's like, seriously, like, you're gonna do this? And then they did the uh, rev match, which is pretty dope, you know? Like, there's times where I don't wanna be rev matching and if the freaking car could do it for me, then I would love it to, you know? But besides that, man, look. Here, let me do a little. Let me do a little. Let me do a little downshift right here for you guys. good like you'll whoop people's asses with this car like and this engine could definitely take a lot like you can do so much to this engine without needing other equipment or you know um the gas is amazing like if you drive it like a normal person this car is very very good you will waste gas like a regular car people like a lot of people think these v8s waste gas they do i mean look you're gonna get this car to drive fast and if you're tripping about gas don't get it at all but people who not trip about gas like me thank god and thankfully you know it's a blessing i could drive this car pretty fast and yeah it does waste gas fast but if you drive it fast but if you drive it like a normal person you know 60 65 70 even you'll get good gas trust me you could get real good gas especially right now during these quarantine times but then again this will only last for so long, right? The gas prices are amazing right now. The sitting is very comfortable. I'm very, very comfortable. Like these seats right here, well, you can't see it in that because I put like a leather, I put like a leather cover on it. But the seats I got are like the, the not the leather ones, but the ones that are like, I guess you could say like the carpet ones, you know, like the, I don't know, but they're comfortable. Now, if you're looking to drive with a lot of friends and go to road trips, this ain't the car, bro. Like, me personally, I'm an introvert. At the same time, I'm an extrovert, right? Like, I like being alone a lot. But I could also be very outgoing, you know? But I don't want a lot of people in my car. Like, f*** that, bro. Why the heck you want a lot of people in your car? I mean, that's just me, though. Like, for me, it's just like me and my homie, me and my girl, me and my side piece. Nah, just kidding. <laughs> but, um, you know, La Sancha. This car is beautiful. Stock exhaust was the worst thing they could ever do to these 15 through 17s. Like, 
It sounds like shit. It doesn't even sound like a V8. That's the first thing that I had to get modded was the was the exhaust. I had to get the Corsa Extremes. And after that, I fell in love with this car even more. Like, I love this car. I love it. I do. Like, I love this car. Like, if, if I would give this car an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 right here, right now. Only because I don't have the digital gauge, the toggle switches, the Sync 3. Uh, and a couple other, you know, little things. But that's just being picky. But then again, people, we only live once, you know. <sighs> a lot has happened to me in these past months. And all I can say is you only live once, man. And one day our times will come. So you make sure you enjoy it, man. I'm not saying go bankrupt, you know. I'm not going to go bankrupt by spending more money on gas or, or anything. But... You gotta be smart, but at the same time, you gotta enjoy it, man. Go talk to that girl you like so much, and if she says no, she says no, and move on to the other girl, man. There's so many girls. Like, why are you tripping about one girl, bro? Just go talk to her. Fat bitches need love too, Craig. <laughs> just enjoy life, man. You never know. You just never know, you know? And enjoy the people around you, most of all. to mention the exterior and I mean the looks on the car very sexy like I believe these shells have been the best shells on the Mustangs I don't care what nobody sell I, sells I don't care what nobody says like the 15 and up beautiful cars I don't like the s197s and I know a lot of people are gonna say, oh, they're stronger, you know. Like they say they're stronger, meaning the parts are stronger, they're able to withstand more power, but I don't care how much power a car has if it looks like a big old box. No offense, people, but the S197 to me looks like a big old box. I don't like the big box look. I have always liked the slick, fast, agility, you know, I think more of an athlete. Like, this car looks more like an athlete. The S197 looks more like a bodybuilder. There you go. That's what I want to say. S197s are power lifters, bodybuilders. The 15 and up are athletes. That's my look into this uh, Mustangs. Now, there's some S197s that look dope because I've seen them. They look very beautiful. It just depends. I mean, that's every car, right? It just depends how you model them and customize them. But personally, I like the 15 and up. Now, don't get it twisted, people. I'm a Ford fan. Um, but I like Camaros, too. I like Dodge. I like all most of cars. Like, see, that's the difference between me and everybody else. Like, there's some people that are just like, oh, my gosh, I love this team. Only this team and... I will die for this team. Bro, they won't even die for you. They don't even know who you are. Why are you such a fan like that? Like, I understand. Like, people are so into, like, Ronaldo, only Ronaldo. I only like Ronaldo. I only like Messi. I only like Messi. Bro, they're both talented. They both have their special qualities. You got to like both of them. Imagine learning Ronaldo. Like, how he does his headers, how fast he is, you know, how strong he is. The way he jumps, but with like Messi's agility, his thinking, he thinks fast in the game like that. Now imagine learning from both of them. That's how you get better, people. Imagine there was a company who was like, look, I like the looks on the Mustang 15 and up, but I like the speed of the Hellcat. And I love the, the Camaro's, let's say the sound, let's just say. Now imagine a new company just mixes all that together into a brand new muscle car. There you go, my friends. That's a big tip for you guys. Stop being so 
into one thing and not letting opening your mind to different options or possibilities. Look at this beauty. Damn, this thing is beautiful. What the heck is this? That looks nice. Look at this, people. This is a Ford GT right here. Oh my gosh. This is exotic right here. This competes with the C8, possibly. And of course, this is a GT500, I believe. Those rims are nice. This is so beautiful. God damn. I just don't like that. This automatic, that shit's lame. He should have gave you the options.